So uh, this is a follow-up on Bruce's talk. I think that the stratification of connection speeds is something we all need to pay more attention to. Uh, I don't know if you saw my tweet from a couple days ago. Uh, AOL is still making $182 million a year from people doing dial-up. And so we have people with these really slow connections, and Bruce hammered home the number of people who are still on 2G and 3G around the world. It doesn't really reflect the connection speeds that a lot of developers have and are building products on, uh, under. And so what can we do to pay more attention to that? Uh, I don't know if you saw this article from Facebook this week where they have 2G Tuesdays. It's kind of a voluntary thing, which I'm not sure if I like that. I might require it, that uh, the company use a simulated 2G network so they, they can get that experience, become more familiar with it. But what can other people do to try to uh, gain more empathy for people who have these challenging uh, networks? Um, so there's this company called Headspin. They're still kind of in stealth mode, as you can see from their website. I met with them last week. They wanted to show me what they were doing, and I thought it was really interesting. And I said, yeah, you know, it would be, if you want to get more visibility for this, it would be great if you integrated with web page tests, the world's most popular performance tool. And, you know, I could demo it at Velocity Amsterdam next week, but that's only a week away. There's no way you could do that. And they said, well, why don't we give it a try? So I'm excited to say they actually were able to do that. So let's play with that a little bit. I'm going to go to this uh, Facebook account for Obama. I'm going to get that URL, go back here. And I'm just in webpagetest.org. You guys can try it now if you want. And now when I click on the drop-down list of test locations, ta-da, we see these real mobile networks from headspin.io in regions where you might have a hard time doing testing from those locations. So we can pick like Bangalore and test this on a, uh, a real 3G mobile network that's there. Let's go ahead and kick that off. So I want to talk a little bit more about what the uh, structure, the setup of this test environment is. Ideally, what I would love to be able to test on is a real device using a real mobile network. Typically what we've had and what's available and has been available in web page tests for a while are real devices, but it's a simulated network. We're using dummy net. Now what we have with Headspin, and the cost of real devices on real networks is very, very high. Maintenance is very high. And so that's why web page tests and a lot of other test environments have real devices on a simulated network. Now what Headspin is doing is the opposite. So this is a Mac Mini, it's running a headless browser, so the browser is not running on the phone. I understand there's drawbacks to that. We're not getting the actual CPU that a mobile device has. But I think there's less stratification in that area than there is when it comes to the network connection. And so they have that headless browser, but connected to the Mac Mini are a bunch of real phones on real local mobile ISPs, and all of the network activity is going across that phone. So we can see here that uh, the test is taking quite a while in Bangalore. Anyone surprised by that? So through the magic of velocity, I have some canned results that we can look at really quickly. So um, here's that Facebook page. And you can see on the uh, left side, I have the uh, uh, network that was used to test it on. So in San Francisco, about six seconds. Uh, Tokyo is an LTE environment, a little faster. Sao Paulo, so what's that going to be? That's uh, six seconds also. Um, then we get to Rio de Janeiro, and that's like 12 or 14 seconds, and Bangalore is way out there at 30, 26 seconds. So what else? Let's see, I tested um, BBC. They have a really good worldwide presence, right? So in San Francisco, not too fast over LTE, 14 seconds. Tokyo, uh, a little faster, LTE, 10 seconds. Sao Paulo, again, back up to about 14, 16 in Rio de Janeiro. And then we get down, and actually Bangalore is not that bad at 20 seconds. Let's look at, hmm, Etsy. Hmm. John's, John's acting very comfortable and confident there. Uh, so we have four seconds. Uh, 
yeah, pretty good. Four seconds, Rio de Janeiro, six, and even in Bangalore, pretty fast. Way to go, John. And uh, we'll skip over Amazon because I'm out of time. We'll go to the, the um, poor CNN that everyone uh, uses as the uh, counterexample. San Francisco, 10 seconds. Tokyo, 10 seconds. Uh, we're getting out to you know about 20 seconds in Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. And then we get down to Bangalore and... <laughs> what is that? 94 seconds. Okay, so I'm out of time. Uh, what do I want to say about this? Uh, it's really interesting. Web page test is awesome. Um, we have real networks now that we can test on. Headspin is going to expand on this. Eventually, they'll roll out their service sometime next year, and you can use that. Um, I think it's important to test under these real-world mobile network conditions. Um, I also want to take a step back from this and think about what happened here. In the last week, we had a, a startup company work with this open source tool. Uh, they did a thing where I can stand on a stage in Amsterdam and test websites in Bangalore over a real mobile network, talk about DevOps, talk about the value of full stack developers, talk about the beauty of open source, of nimble teams, um, talk about the love of this community. Try it out, run some tests. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>